I'm Amy Cherry. This local news is a service of Flagler County's Toyota dealer, Beaver Toyota, here to wow ya. You can just show up and it's free. The county is stepping up coronavirus testing as cases are on the rise in Flagler County and in the state. Gretchen Smith with the Florida Department of Health in Flagler runs down a list of places where you can get a COVID-19 test. We're going to be branching out into other testing sites throughout the county. As an example, we're doing testing during the week. Santa Maria del Mar and Flagler Beach, that's on Monday nights from 4.30 to 6. On Wednesday evenings, we're doing it at the Bunnell Methodist Church, not too far from the Bank of America in Bunnell. We're going to be at Flagler Beach Pharmacy on Thursday mornings. Church on the Rock on Saturdays from 10 to 12. Testing is also ongoing Tuesdays through Thursdays through the end of the month at Daytona State College's Flagler Palm Coast Campus. Appointments are accepted at the site at 3000 Palm Coast Parkway Southeast between 9 a.m. and noon. Get one by calling 313-4200. So far, more than 3,200 tests have been administered at that site since mid-April. Since Florida and other states have had spikes in the number of coronavirus cases, should the state take a step back to flatten the curve? 24th District State Representative Paul Renner says maybe. We don't lose our constitutional rights. We do have a public health crisis that we're facing that needs to be addressed vigorously, and we need to do that in a way that we can continue to get our economy back. Renner said that the more time people spend in groups going out to non-essential places like nightclubs, the longer it will take for the economy to get back on track and for jobs to return. He said that groups of people going out is not essential, but that it is a way of spreading COVID-19. Tomorrow, Representative Paul Renner talks about the budget and Mednex. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm Deb Albertson. For the first time in 16 years, there will be a race for the Seventh Circuit Public Defender. John Arking takes a look at one of three candidates seeking the office. Jim Purdy has been the Seventh Circuit Public Defender since 2004, but with his retirement at the end of the year, the position will be contested with a primary battle on August 18th, with the general election set for November 3rd. Anne-Marie Janusa is one of three Republicans on the ballot facing off against George Burden and Matthew Metz, who are both from Daytona Beach. Janusa was asked if that made a difference. Well, the difference for me is that I represent the entire circuit, not just Volusia County, because there are four counties in the circuit. St. John's, Putnam, I've practiced there. Volusia, i practiced. I still have active cases there. And Flagler County as well. So... I pretty much, um, in my private practice, have, have represented individuals, and as the public defender, I would continue to do the same thing because I think leadership's important, and I think that there should be visibility in all four of the county. I think for this race, what's really important based on where we are as a state, meaning with budget cuts and just things that are going on, I think you need somebody who actually has long-time business experience, which coincidentally, I do. Janusa was admitted to the New York Bar in 1995 and moved to Florida in 1999. She worked as a public defender in New York now runs her own firm in St. Augustine, which specializes in criminal law and family law. Because all three candidates are Republicans, the August 18th primary will be open to all voters. If one of the three contenders gets more than 50 percent of the votes that are cast, he or she will be elected. If not, the top two vote getters will then meet in the November runoff. From the WNZF Newsroom, I'm John Arkin. A local canine team is being honored. Tony Magoo has the story. A Flagler County Sheriff's Office canine unit will receive the Canine Trailing Team of the Year Award for the state of Florida. Sergeant Fred Kimball and Canine Homes will receive that award from Governor Ron DeSantis at the Florida Capitol on Monday, September 14th. The canine unit made national news after the Sheriff's Office requested the help of the community in naming the first bloodhound the agency has had in decades. The community rallied together and chose the name Holmes, named after the fictional private detective Sherlock Holmes. The great successes of this canine team over such a short period of time led to the nomination and subsequent winning of this well-deserved award. We'll be this morning is Sheriff Rick Staley of the Flagler County Sheriff's Office. Canine Holmes has been a wonderful addition to the Sheriff's Office. He's had significant success to receive this award. It's just a testament to the quality of Sergeant Gimbel and Canine Homes. For Flagler's Morning News, I'm Tony Magoo. And now you're up to date on Flagler's Morning News. I'm Amy Cherry.